A few weeks ago, I was in the beautiful Eastern Cape near Alawal North on a hunting trip. While walking in the felt, we managed to track a herd of impala. Unfortunately, the wind changed and they smelt us and made tracks deeper into the bush. We managed to track them down again in the early afternoon, upon which I landed a shot on a beautiful impala ram. It was a really challenging but rewarding hunt. This impala is going to go to making bultong, revorse and some other meat. It was a great hunt. I'm just cutting up the the pieces of impala to to make into chunks here. You can see those are going to be made into dry horse and burro horse. So yeah, lots of work to be done. But that's that's what happens when you go hunting. So you got to process all your meat, respect the animal, and make sure nothing goes to waste. So now we've got the impala mix with a bit of fat and all the spices. Now we're going to start to grind that and put them into their skins. Okay, so we've got a production line going here. Take the chopped diced uh, meat to the mincer. You can see this motor there. And there we go. And this is how mince is made. Delicious. Then we've got the skins there. Heat. Who's that? Okay, so we've got heat here on the mince that sees the mince packer into the sausage machine. I'm gonna rub on the filling. You can see the the nice vors. Mm. 
And here we go. Now this is going to be dried and made into dry vorse. You can see that is prime, clean, awesome meat. Prime, prime. Well done, guys. Well done, lekker, lekker. Yeah, we'll lose about 50% of this when it's dry because it's got a lot of moisture in it. But yeah, that's awesome. We've got a whole big thing that we've got to sort out and hang. So yeah, lekker. What do you say, Heath? There's a bit of joy stuff. Lekker! Is it? Is it? Is it? Meat's looking very, very good. Nice sausage. Dry boss, the South African specialty. It's quite a process doing all of this. get lots of meat from it. So we've just made the biltong uh, out of impala and um, we've spiced it and everything. Now we're just hanging it so that it can dry and it should be ready in about four or five days. Here Heath just helping hang up. Here's the final product. So here we're gonna make uh, burrowbos rolls with this with, this is the impala that was shot so yeah it's a very traditional south african i would call it like a meal a snack whatever like a burrowbos we're not making a fire we just we're rather hungry so we're gonna just do it in the pan now just got a bit of olive oil in here going with a healthier alternative and just gonna mm. sear this nicely on the outside leave it slightly rare on the inside because this is some quality, quality meat, this. Yeah, we've used uh, your beef fat instead of uh, pig fat, so we can afford to let it not overcook that much. Now that's some quality burrowbos. Buttering the rolls and then that's going to be a lacquer snack. Delicious. Let's pop the burrowbos in the roll. Now that's a burrowbos roll. Shot th two days ago, processed all the meat, made it into nice vorts. Got to add a little bit of South African all gold tomato sauce. Delicious! And let's have a taste. You can see this is nice meat. Mmm. Full of flavor. Nice, you can taste like it's fresh. Hasn't been frozen, hasn't been processed. This is 100% non-GMO, just wild, wild, nice, delicious meat. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Zit. Zit. Yo, eat. <laughs>